All right, listen up, folks. I'm tired of turning things in late. I am tired of the debilitating anxiety that I get after procrastinating. But I crave that feeling of accomplishment. Like, you know that feeling that you get when you turn in something early or when you complete all of your work? I love that feeling. But I don't do enough to achieve that feeling sometimes. Like, I'm going to be honest. Sometimes I'm just straight up lazy and I give in to my bad habits. So I decided that I'm going to break my bad habits and cultivate better ones. So let's kick off episode two with a little body and fitness update. All right, so to give you guys a little fitness update, last Monday, I injured my back doing some deadlifts. <laughs> I went to the chiropractor and I checked out my back and they said I was fine. I probably just strained a muscle. Um, so they told me to take it easy for the rest of the week. So that's what I did. I didn't work out for the rest of the week. So I only worked out once last week. Also last week was a really busy and stressful work week. And so I forgot to eat a lot. I have a tendency to hyper focus when I'm working. And so I literally forget to eat. I forget to use the bathroom. Like I'm just like so hyper focused on one thing. So I asked you guys on Instagram, like if you had any tips for like eating <laughs> when you have a tendency to hyper focus. And a lot of you guys had some really great tips. Uh, one of the tips that I got a lot actually was to keep snacks next to your workspace. So I got a bunch of like protein bars. I got some trail mix that I'll probably put in like little container to have by my desk. Something else that one of my friends mentioned, her name's Amanda, she mentioned these Premier Protein Shakes. They're 30 grams of protein, 160 calories, and they're only one gram of sugar. Um, this is really great. Even though I do have a protein powder, these are just easier when you're hyper-focused on work to just go to the fridge and take it out and start drinking it. I don't have to like put a scoop of protein in the blender and then like put a whole bunch of stuff in the blender and then blend it. Like it's a lot of work on top of work that I'm already doing, you know what I mean? So I got some of these just to have. Yeah, I need to build better habits because one thing, one reason why I was so overwhelmed last week is because I didn't stay on top of my schedule. I was sleeping on the couch at like midnight. Like that's something that happens to me a lot and that's a really bad habit that I want to break. So I think what I'm going to focus on this week is following an evening routine so that I'm in bed at a certain time. I'm in my bed, not on the couch. I'm not on my phone in my bed. I'm reading a book or something. So that's what I'm going to work on this week is to stay on top of my eating, stay on top of my schedule and stay on top of just like being more, just being more intentional, just being more intentional in general. So that's what we're going to work on today. Let's try these out. So the premier protein shakes that I got are caramel flavored. Let's do a little taste test. I'm sure it tastes delicious, but <laughs> yeah, what do you know? Tastes fantastic. <laughs> In the last episode, I mentioned that I started reading Atomic Habits by James Clear. And in that book, he mentioned that one way to build better habits is to make it easy. If I have a bunch of snacks by my desk, then snacking throughout the day and reaching my calorie goals is made much easier if I'm working at my desk all day. Now, here's where I'm currently at with my habits. Now, my morning routine is fantastic, phenomenal, chef's kiss, great, no notes. You know, I get out of bed in the morning, I brush my teeth, I change into my workout clothes, I write in my journal, I do my pre-workout, I take my birth control and my antidepressants, I go to the gym, I work out. And because I'm actually enjoying weightlifting, it's not difficult for me like I don't hate going to the gym. Like I don't hate working out. So like mornings are so easy for me. Like getting up in the morning and starting my day is so easy for me. The issue that I have is with my evening habits. My evening routine, I have an evening routine, but I don't always do it. 
My evening routine needs a lot of work, but it's also super important. Like evening routines are super important because they're meant to prepare you for the next day. And there's a quote that my dad always said to me growing up, which is basically like, fail to prepare, prepare to fail. And that piece of advice is unfortunately very true. <laughs> if I fail to prepare, I'm going to fail. That's just the way it is. Now, one thing that I found really works for me is time blocking because it reduces decision fatigue because all I have to do is follow a pre-made schedule. And when I'm able to follow a schedule, I just get things done. So what I did was I implemented a time block schedule for my evening routine. And here is attempt number one at following my time blocked evening routine. So I was supposed to start my evening routine at 9.30. It's 10 o'clock, so I'm 30 minutes late. But you know, that's neither here nor there. At least I'm doing it. So I got this wedge pillow thing off of Amazon and I've been sleeping on it every night and my acid reflux got way better after I started sleeping on this. So just a little tip. <laughs> Now, I'd say that attempt was pretty successful. Now, here's where I ran into some issues. When my work life is busy, I am not worried about any schedule. If I have to edit a video until 11 p.m. because it's due the next day, then I have to edit that video at 11 p.m. because it's due the next day. <laughs> but what I realized from that experience is that I often complete work at the very last minute, whether it's the day before or even literally the day of when it's due. So my biggest bad habit that I wanna break is how much I procrastinate. If I reduced how much I procrastinate, my entire life would improve substantially. I would have more time to hang out with my friends. I'd have more time to rest. I'd probably be more creative because I'm not performing under the pressure of time and expectations. I'd probably eat better and eat more because I would be able to take adequate breaks to eat. I'd be able to turn in work early. Like literally every aspect of my life would improve if I didn't procrastinate. And the crazy thing is I know this and yet I still do it. Now, the first step is acceptance. Um, at least I acknowledge that I could be doing better. And the next step is to actually practice what I preach. So here's the thing. I am being mean to myself when I procrastinate. I always know how I'm going to end up feeling when I procrastinate. And I never feel good. So by procrastinating, I am choosing to be mean to myself. And I'm tired of being mean to myself. So one thing that I realized that helps me sit down and do my work is making my environment ready for work. This is also something that was mentioned in Atomic Habits. When my workspace is cluttered, I walk into my room, I look around and I realize Mm, the vibe is not right. So I go to the living room and I start scrolling on my phone for hours on the couch. But when my workspace is clean, I light a nice candle, I play some nice music. It's preparing my brain to get into the zone. I enjoy being in that environment and I'm able to get work done. Environment actually plays a huge role in why I procrastinate, so I'm just gonna keep this in mind for the future. Now, this week for me was far from perfect. 
Um, it's going to take a little bit more than a week to cultivate better habits and break bad habits, but you gotta start somewhere, okay? And I started somewhere. I'd say that my no procrastination success rate this week was at about 30%. Not great, but bad habits are so hard to break. It's just going to take more than a week to do so. I also realize it's because my bad habits are in my comfort zone. My bad habits are comfortable and trying to create better habits, I guess, is a little scary because I'm not used to it or maybe it takes a little bit more work. Like picking up my phone and scrolling through it is way easier than like using my brain to edit a video creatively. But also when you look at the bigger picture, making the better decision doesn't necessarily mean that it's gonna be more work or that it's going to be harder because <laughs> when you really think about it, procrastination doesn't mean that you're going to be doing less work. You're going to be doing the same amount of work. They're just going to be an added layer of stress and anxiety and pressure. Like when you really think about it, procrastination is not actually that worth it. It makes you feel good now because you're putting the pressure off yourself now, but tomorrow you're gonna hate yourself and I'm done with hating myself. I don't deserve that. But I am motivated to trying to be a better person. That's what these glow up diaries are all about. I'm trying to glow up, you know what I'm saying? In every aspect of my life. Like I'm just so tired of the anxiety that I get from procrastinating and I'm tired of letting people down when I don't deliver on time. I'm just ready to be a more reliable and organized person. So I'll tell you what, I'm gonna keep working on this and we'll check back in. By the way, please let me know in the comments if you like this kind of style of videos where I kind of like talk through and like give my thoughts about it to the camera as opposed to vlogging in real time. Like, do you prefer this style or do you prefer like a vlog style? I'm trying to experiment with different things. I'm not sure what I like yet, not sure what you guys like. So please leave me some feedback in the comments section down below. I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Peace.